my grandmother always used to say the proof is in the pudding. And to honor my grandmother and her tapioca pudding, I'm going to make a full beat out of Vibe 5 and Vibe 6 from Batch 5, which is our Bossa Nova sample pack of Chop This. So I got everything labeled out here. I'm probably going to use some other samples as well. Um, and I'll, I'll have splice up for like effects and stuff like that. But other than that, besides Vibe 5, I have two uh, Bossa Nova drum loops up as well from Soul Surplus. Shout out Soul Surplus. Found them early on in my production career. Very helpful. Um, and we're going to set a timer. We're going to set a 30 minute timer like we used to do back in the day. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see it or not. Should probably get it back on the screen. We're going to do 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, this is a 30 minute beat using Vibe 5 and Vibe 6 from the Bossa Nova sample pack. And let's go here we go okay so i do think that knowing these are slightly different keys so this is going to be the most challenging bit i'm assuming so and and how, how we're going to figure that out really quick is this we're going to go like this we're going to pull a uh, vibe five and just go like this see if this Yep, so getting back, it might be kind of challenging actually, but I think it can be done, and that's why I wanted to do these too. So I'm probably going to start off with, let's see, guitar chords, kind of like this. I'm going to pull up a vinyl sound right away too just so we don't have to do that later it's just necessary it's I don't know if it's necessary but I do it all the time anyways same vinyl sound too <laughs> And so I want to go like this. Let's say sometimes Ableton is going to do me a little dirty. And that's all right. I'll go like that. everything coming right here okay Let's see, let's get a drum rack going too. I'm just gonna grab what we're, ooh, this is what I've been using lately. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll try to emulate this. Um, and I just needed to get stuff down.
this kick might be a little too beefy for our purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and add in I think I'm going to go I'm going to add in just the MIDI. I don't I don't know if I want to use that same melody. grab a different piano too. Let's see. So and sometimes just going back in, I want to line it up. This this loop. Yeah, this this drum loop is very tight. Like it's almost rushing the beat. It's like exactly on the beat. When I was playing, I was dragging. So I have to go back and I have to adjust this bass sound because we're kind of we're it's it feels like we're cruising. We're not cruising per se. It feels like we're cruising. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull up a different piano and or vibe here. So this is piano. This is guitar chords. Five, G, C. So I'm going to pull up uh, another piano here, and we're just going to use. So we we are playing C minor 7 and F minor 7 for a lot. Just for time's sake, let's just throw something together.
So we got an A section here. This is going to be <laughs> the challenging part. I think... Okay, we're going to get these guitar chords in here right away. Pull this up. And I'm just trying to line up this chord with the guitar chord. I need to be able to see this too. There we go. Okay, we are going to have, this is going to be drums for now. Um, we're going to have to come up with a ride really fast. I got Okay, we got 18 minutes left. I gotta. I do have to keep an eye on the clock here. <laughs> as, uh, as much as it's funny to be challenged, the clock does uh, make a difference. So, going to go to the good old faithful Ellie Tro, 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 like snow, Tro. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to pull up some effects really quick too. Might have helped me to do this beforehand, but sometimes the magic is just finding effects you like in real time too. Um, so we're just going to go, I always go to splice, just boom bap. Um, I'll even like just... There we go. This will work just fine. Oh. So this is just going to be... Uh, just trying to glue this together, right? And then we're just going to start partying, uh, I think, right away with a quicker drum beat here. So just use this as a... Yeah, yeah. Just like that, that's gonna sound super cool. And then we're just gonna lift off. I think for this round, I'm gonna bring in the whole thing here. We're gonna go like this. I'm just gonna go like, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like, oh, are the guitar chords up there? I think they are. Guitar lines are not up there and bass is not up there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna go like, okay, this is the loop now. Oh, we don't want to go like that. We want to grab this one. And here we go. So now we have some elements that are going to be the same. And again, I might have to go in because like we said before, this seems to be not as drug as the 
first bass line. So that's... There we go, that sounds better. Yep. I'm going to start just fusing these together for, I know I turned up the last bass a little bit. I'm going to shift that ride off to the right. Okay, so this will be where I'm just going to use the MIDI to demonstrate how we can just go like, okay, I know this rhythm might not sound good right away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this chord and you know what, I'm just going to spread it out. Ooh, hang on a second. There are more. Okay, so I, I gotta go like this. I gotta go like boom, boom. Okay, I hear it now. Dash, dash, da, 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 da. Yeah, so check this out. And then we'll go straight back to the normal loop here. So this one. That was a that was a challenge because these are although vibe six is all centered around a flat major. This one, this last one, I remember it was slightly different, and it is a flat seven. So we had to go in and kind of do some editing. <laughs> Cool, now we'll go like this. And I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna join this one really fast. And I'm gonna go. And that way we can go straight back into the whole thing here and just go dodge just straight in. Yo, that was so cool. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. That. All right, I need a. We'll get our celebratory laser there. Celebratory laser. Um, Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get away with this now. I'm not going to be able to get away with that. And I want this to ride out now. I just want for our purposes. 
I'm gonna hop on and maybe just do a little little uh, improvisation here. I don't know. It's all good, it's all good. Just going for it here. to pump this puppy up just a little bit and mm -hmm. make it an expand Let's hear this. All right, we got like seven minutes left. Let's get it, let's get it. sounds great okay cool and let's go like this we're just gonna extend this puppy out maybe add some notes 
move it back. I didn't even have to play it. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay, we have, uh, I'm just going to extend that chord out too for the ending. There we have it. We have uh, about five minutes to spare. So that was uh, taking Vibe 5 and Vibe 6 from the Bossa Nova sample pack and creating a two section beat with that. Yeah, let's take a listen. That was great. That's great, excuse me. Um, let's go like this. Bush. Just gonna gain it down right here. Yeah, that was that was very nice. All right, and there we have it. With a minute to spare, that was a sample pack demonstration of Chop This Batch 5, our Bossa Nova-esque pack from our Chop This series. Um, and I picked arguably the two most challenging ones out of all of the other cohesive ones. Not that it was challenging, but we did have to create space to navigate to a different key right um but to still even with five five and five six sounds great easily doable um only thing i would change personally is it sounds like actually never mind the piano sometimes uh i think it might have been the pedal information but 
I would just probably change extending the middle of the beat a little bit longer to give Vibe 6 some room to breathe. But other than that, there you have it. 30 minute beat with our Batch 5 sample pack. Thanks for tuning in. As always, making new music is a privilege and I am honored to do so. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Sending you love, sending you blessings. From my heart to yours, Ty Love. Peace, peace.